Hi, I'm Commander Scott Beaver, and I'm Lieutenant Trey Edenfield from the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office. Golf carts and low-speed vehicles are becoming a big part of our community, and it's our job to keep you safe while you use them. So today, we're going to go over everything you need to know about golf carts and low-speed vehicles so that you're up to speed on the county ordinances, laws, and the penalties. Let's talk about golf carts first. A golf cart is a motor vehicle that is designed and manufactured for operation on a golf course for sporting and recreational purposes. It is not capable of speeds greater than 20 miles per hour. A golf cart must be equipped with efficient brakes and steering, safe tires, a rear view mirror, and reflectors in front and in the rear of the cart. If you plan to drive your golf cart at night, you should also have headlights, brake lights, turn signals, and a windshield. If there is a chance that you will be driving your golf cart where there are people, adding a horn is required. Golf carts can only be operated on roadways that have been specifically designated to allow for golf cart use, also known as a designated road. These designated roads have received county approval and has appropriate signage or pavement markings to indicate that a golf cart is allowed. Here are some important things to know. If a roadway has a posted speed limit of 25 miles per hour or greater, it will not be approved for golf cart use. You can, however, cross a road that has a speed limit of 25 miles per hour or greater only if you are already on a designated road and are crossing a street to remain on a designated road. Golf carts are never allowed on standard sidewalks. Some communities and neighborhoods have multiple use paths set up. These county approved multi-use paths are shared by golf carts, bicyclists, and pedestrians. The speed limit on these paths, regardless of where they are, is always 15 miles per hour. So unless there is a multi-use path or a designated road all the way to the grocery store, your favorite Starbucks, or your favorite restaurant, you can't drive your golf cart there. Not every neighborhood or community is golf cart approved. Here is a list of those who are approved for golf cart use. Marsh Landing Country Club, Sawgrass Country Club, Six Mile Creek, Cimarron, St. John's Golf and Country Club, Nocatee, Palencia, South Haven, Markland. If you don't see your neighborhood listed, then your neighborhood is not approved for golf cart use. The only exception to this rule is if you live in a gated community. Gated communities are considered private and if the homeowners association approves it, you can use your golf cart as you please. Either way, always check with your HOA before purchasing and using a golf cart to make sure your community is approved for golf cart use. It's always better to be safe than to be sorry. According to county ordinance, a golf cart can only be operated by persons 14 years of age or older. They do not require a driver's license, but do require a photo ID. There are, however, restrictions based on age. Juveniles 16 years of age and younger who do not hold a valid driver's license may not operate a golf cart from 11 o'clock at night to 6 o'clock in the morning. Juveniles 17 years of age who do not hold a valid driver's license may not operate a golf cart from 1 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the morning. No matter how old you are, golf carts should never be driven in a reckless or careless manner. Anyone who drives a golf cart should operate it safely and responsibly. You can decrease the risk of passenger ejection or rolling your golf cart over by avoiding sharp turns at high speed, sitting in the cart correctly, and driving safely. That means if there are stop signs, stop lights, or other signage, a golf cart must obey it just like a car needs to. Now let's talk about a low speed vehicle. A low speed vehicle or LSV means any four wheel vehicle that can travel no faster than 25 miles per hour. If you modify a golf cart to go faster than 20 miles per hour but not over 25 miles per hour it is now a low speed vehicle. Low speed vehicles are required to have headlights, parking brakes, rear view mirrors, a windshield, seat belts, and a vehicle identification number. LSVs are required to have a license plate and be insured the same as a car and truck as well as meet federal safety standards. And because of the need for a license plate and insurance, you have to have a driver's license to operate 
a low speed vehicle. An LSV can be operated only on a county road where the posted speed limit is 35 miles per hour or less and which has not been designated a prohibited county road. The St. Johns County Sheriff's Office or code enforcement officers can enforce violations by civil citation. The fines are as follows. For your first violation, you will be fined $75. If you contest the ticket, the fine goes up to $93. For your second violation, and every violation after that, the fine is $150. Contest that ticket, and the fine goes up to $168. Violations of the county ordinance may also be prosecuted as a second degree misdemeanor with a fine up to $500 and the possibility of 60 days in jail. Yes, violations of golf carts are that serious. Here are some of the things you need to know. While it's not required by the county ordinance, the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office highly recommends using seat belts and car seats in your golf cart. These may save your or your child's life. Your underage child can be cited if they are caught doing something wrong in a golf cart. If your underage child is caught driving a golf cart unlawfully and the parents know not only will the child be cited, but the parents will be too. If a crash happens involving a golf cart and someone is injured, there could be a more extensive investigation involved. And given the circumstances of a crash involving a golf cart or a low speed vehicle, criminal charges could apply. Florida state statute prohibits operating a golf cart while impaired. You can be arrested and charged with a DUI if you are found to be in violation of this statute. Don't drink and drive even on your golf cart. Our goal is to make sure you enjoy using your golf cart or low speed vehicle safely. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, don't hesitate to contact us. It's just another way we're taking care of people.